Everyone wants to know the answer to this question. Life on Netflix wouldn't be the same without at least one scene showcasing an extremely huge piece. Adam demos as Brad appeared in that shower scene in season 1, and Evan appeared in another full full moment in the season 2 finale. Everyone is now speculating as to whether Jonathan Sadowski is donning a fake The scene is in episode 6, around the 18-minute mark, in case you haven't seen it yet or you need a quick reminder, how could you forget? In the scene Cooper, Mike Vogel, is seen asking Devin if his p was impacted after the pair got into a car crash with two sex workers. One of the sex workers, Piper, unintentionally bit off a portion of Devin's p during the auto accident. According to Devin, he had his penis rebuilt after the accident, with an additional inch implanted and a pump to help the penis contract. He then proceeds to demonstrate in detail how the pump operates, revealing his enhanced p to Cooper in the audience. No confirmation has been provided as of yet regarding Jonathan Sadowski's use of a prosthetic in the scene. Adam Demos and Stacey Rukaser, the creator of the Sex Life television series, both alluded to the potential of employing a prosthesis during the infamous Brad shower scene from season one. According to Stacey, no. It's not a body double, either. People frequently inquire as to whether something is real or artificial. What Adam Demos says about it that a gentleman never tells I can share with you. We are therefore leaving everything to the viewer's imagination. Adam also addressed the issue, noting that the intimacy coordinator on set allowed him to feel entirely at ease when he went full frontal while filming Sex Life. Everyone would discuss it and their comfort levels with the help of an intimacy coordinator. You would practice it until you were so comfortable doing it that you wouldn't believe it. Everything is discussed right down to the breath, including hand movements. As breathing is an emotional process during scenes, you talk about that trip, as well as each person's comfort level, he revealed it to Entertainment Weekly. The employment of a prosthetic was never definitively established during the previous season, but maybe we'll soon learn more about Devon and his enlarged from season 2. If you can find something in common with a sexually frustrated good wife and enjoy glamour, sex, and more sex, I have no doubt sex life will quench your thirst. Its melodrama is undeniably entertaining, and the agonizing dialogue can easily be ignored when dressed up in outlandish sequins, chrome and skin-tight dresses. Personally, I treasure season 1 as a guilty pleasure, but after reaching the climax at the end of season 2, the melodrama ebbed away, and it became clear that I had been seduced by the epitome of trashy TV.